visit some websites today on YouTube. And that's why you hear all this racial shit out of me today. I've come to my reality. And the reality is that YouTube is one side. You can say negative things about black people constantly. And it's okay. There are no outlets where people say anything negative about white people in general. And I want to explain this. And I don't want to sound stupid explaining it. But, um, all the core, if you want me, sites where there's ignorant white people. Ooh, I don't know if you heard that. The ignorant, ignorant white people. All of these sites, they got the colors, the red and the black. They got all of the videos of hate. They got the Hitler stuff. And they got the swastikas, the iron crosses, and flags, and all of that. And they deserve to have all. They deserve to have everything that is connected to any belief that they have. But, if you're going to speak as a separatist, do it peacefully. There's no eradication. There's no get rid of Israel. There's no, you know, yes, I hope the Palestinians kill them all. I mean, I've seen on the YouTube where people will perpetuate, hey, no, I don't want the Palestinians, Palestinians to kill all the Israelites. Why? Why should anybody die? especially over beliefs. If you don't believe as I do, shame on you. If I don't believe as you do, shame on me. And then life goes on. You know, there is good and bad in everyone. We must learn to live. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> We don't have to learn how to live in peace with each other. We just got to do it. How stupid are we as a species if we have to learn to be peaceful? See, that is the crux of all this racial animosity bullshit. We shouldn't have to deal with them. They'd be nothing without us. How do you know what kind of world this world would be if they didn't have the quote-unquote white influence on it. We may be a technological society instead of a cash-driven society. We may be living on a different standard if it wasn't for the influence of war, drugs, pestilence, and disrespect, captivity. Hmm? How in the hell can you better a group of people by making them your slaves? A whole continent of people was distributed amongst the entire planet to build this world. And these people have no land and no stake and no control of this world. What if there was only white people on the planet Earth? Would you be happy? No. You'd hate those blue eyed guys. You'd hate those brown eyes. You'd hate those green eyes. You'd hate those blonde hairs. You'd hate those the brunettes. You'd hate the redheads. You'd hate the albinos. 
You'd hate the kinky hair. You'd hate the straight hair. You'd hate the curly hair. You'd hate the flat hair. Because someone would market the indifferences. Because now, what if there was no hate between any of the races? At all. No hate. Then the other factors would kick in. The size. The hair. The eyes. The voice. The language. We need excuses to dislike each other. But we never use those excuses to need one another to better each other. White man, black man, Mexican, Chinese man. Stereotyped. All whites do this. All blacks do that. All Mexicans are this. All this is that. And that and this and that and that. Who do you believe? Open your motherfucking eyes. But when you open your eyes, all you see is Mexicans. And blacks. It's funny. The powers that be don't believe white people do anything wrong. Now, there's white people out there that's not going to disagree with me. And there's white people who are very, 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 very much in disagreement with me. Will you agree, yes or no, that there are bad white people? Once you say yes, yes, there are bad white people, would you then agree that you don't see these people? See, crime. Crime is crime. White crime, white on black crime, black on white crime, black on Mexican, Mexican on black, Mexican on white, white and black on Mexican, Mexican and black on white, blah, 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 yakety smackety. The fucking cycle continues until we, as a people of the United States of America, get up and say to the world these things not exist because they don't they don't exist where I live at most of the crime is committed by young Hispanic men when I lived in Richmond California most of the crime was committed by young black men in reality, what I see here in the situation I live in now is the dumber crimes, stupid shit, is instigated by young white kids. The stealing of marijuana, the breaking into places, the little home invasions and shit. Now, where do these little white kids get their influence? pop culture. We're now all on the same mental level. Things aren't seen equally. See, if I got caught with an ounce of crack cocaine, throw away the key. I get caught with an ounce of powdered cocaine, it all depends on who I'm with when I get caught in. But you don't throw away the key. Why are the laws set the way they are? It's a control fear mechanism. You don't see white crime, you see black crime, therefore there's more black people doing it. There's less black people in the United States than white people. So how, I don't even want to go there. That's for Jay Ryder who does the numbers. But you've been tubed. This is only part one. 